So I'm sitting here, uh, you know, getting ready to bathe and get ready for work tomorrow, you know. And uh, and then all of a sudden, Mandalorian Season 3 trailer comes, and I'm just like, God damn it, I posted three videos today, and I gotta film another one talking about this shit. Um, if you want to know the reason I don't talk about trailers is like, I, you know, usually I don't have a lot to say that I wouldn't end up saying in a review and like so i just wait for movies also trailers to me are just dumb in the sense that you know i see these things and they mismarket things and they lie to you and it's annoying and like all that crap uh needless to say there's a reason i stopped talking about trailers but god damn <laughs> this looks amazing and what's really awesome about this trailer is it just reminds you of why all these people are sitting out there, Star Wars is dead, Star Wars is dying, and you just watch this and you go, shit man, that shit looks amazing, and I can't wait to watch it. And all these people are like, Star Wars is dying, Star Wars is woke, whatever, they're still gonna sit here day one and watch this shit, just like the rest of us, and they're either gonna hate watch it, or they're gonna fucking enjoy it, and pretend that they don't, because this shit was great. Uh, where do I begin? Uh, first of all, we see a shot of Savine. Now, it's I had to pause it, like, multiple times to make sure that was really her and zoom in. Yes, that is absolutely Savine in one of the shots in the trailers. It's, I, you know, it, it's right before that shot where we see, like, the mini Babu Fricks, which if you could see the giant Funko Pop of Babu Frick behind me, you know, you can tell I like the, that, that, that creature from Rise of Skywalker. Um, I do like, I, I was in... You know, and then, you know, we've heard lots of rumors about tons and tons of Mandalorians, which is always going to be a thing because, um, I mean, he's going to Mandalore. We all assumed that was what was going to happen. That's great. I also like that in this trailer, we don't get a lot of Baby Yoda. And that's really great to me because Bar Baby Yoda, like, I love that character. I love Grogu. I have multiple Grogu's. I get <laughs> there's a giant Grogu behind me. I'm wearing a fucking Grogu sweater. And, and you know, and I got like Grogu's on the wall over there uh, like wall stickers that I put on the wall cause fuck it I love Grogu I don't I'm a fucking nerd oh my god um but you know like he's become a gimmick to the Mandalorian at this point Boba Fett brought him back so quickly you kind of feel like that should have waited or maybe you know they spend some time apart but you get why it happened and, but i like that you see a couple shots but you don't really see him do anything overly cutesy and stuff and that's fine for me i i love his that character and i want to see what happens with that character because it's still like what is going to happen with that character the fun of mandalorian is we don't know what's going to happen with any of these characters because none of these characters are connected to the Skywalker family or whatever. No, you know, Mando doesn't need to die by the end of this show. He could just live on somewhere. You know, Grogu could live to be a thousand years old. I also find it interesting the shot of the Jedi in this trailer. It looks like some Order 66 flashbacks more than likely. Um, and maybe that's where, so it looks like we're getting some Grogu origins. I mean, we kind of got some, but maybe there's a way of, like popping in those memories and kind of what happened there i'm really excited about that uh, there's just a lot in this trailer that's really hyped to be excited about and i think this may be the best mandalorian season yet just because how much is going to happen in this season and also maybe a fi finally get a season where there's absolutely no filler because that's what's really important with mandalorian at this point you know i think all of us hate that shit with that spider episode and them transporting that Newt mom with the eggs even though i had fun with that episode i think all of us want more of the grand scale stuff and it looks like we're getting that and i'm just so damn excited about this march 1st cannot come soon enough because like don't get me wrong i'm watching stuff on disney plus i'm watching bad batch i can't wait for proud family season two but like there's nothing that compares to the mandalorian for for, for god's sake like this show this show is like this trailer is literally like if the heavens just open up and God's like, sup. <laughs> That's literally what this trailer did me on. It's not, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Give me those Grogu's. Give me those Mandos. Give me those Funko Pops. 
God, I am running out of room for Funko Pops, but I will be buying 50 Mandalorians, 50 Grogu's. Give me them all! Because I need them for me. I'm losing my damn mind. Uh, let me know your thoughts, like, share, and subscribe. I, I will see you guys next time.